All right, let's jump into this Q&A. If you don't see your question or name, that's because it probably got merged into another question or I started filming as of Friday morning and hadn't read your question. All right, Landry's on PC asks, why? A great man once said, science isn't about why, it's about why not. Also, you're fired. Seb TNT Destroyer asks, will you ever link GLaDOS up to her own real life neurotoxin generator? Real life neurotoxin? No. Fake life neurotoxin? Yes. Devin Mitchell asks, what is your favorite thing about Portal? What isn't my favorite thing about Portal? Bamotu asks, this is so epic? Yes. Halogenic asks, Whomst? Whomst did it The Eggmonger asks, Favorite type of water? Bubbly. Sandibill asks, How about potato GLaDOS? I could actually pop out her eye, but it would take hundreds of potatoes to even get close. She could potentially run at 1.1 volts, though. Miana asks, We did it! I'm glad I was with you since the start. Are you going to build the rest of her body? First, thank you. All the positive comments you guys share really do mean a lot to me. As for building the rest of her body, no, but also yes. So this version is roughly a third scale and is meant to be a prototype. Even at this small scale, her body would be over 10 feet, depending on how far up you consider her body. I live in a normal American sized house, so there wouldn't be anywhere to put her, which leads me to the next question. Shayla asks, how long did it take you to make this? How much money did it cost to make? And will you make a tutorial on how to make it? And Milo DH asked, how long did this project take to do? And in the end, how long did it take to assemble the final build? I started this version in September of last year, but I really did stop a bunch of times to work on other things and also because I just wasn't feeling it. I'd say I've put close to 300 hours of labor into her. There are over 200 individual 3D printed, machined, or laser cut components in her head. And I had to design and make every single one. And this shot is a real bin of all the failures and redesigns I made along the way. I recommend trying it sometime the next time you build something complicated. I usually get discouraged during any complex build and while that bin wasn't the goal, uh, seeing it fill up let me know that I was making progress. Painful progress, but progress nonetheless. Uncool Stamps asks, my question for you is, how much estimated was the whole build? And Rosinkvit Empire asked, and how much can I pay for this absolute masterpiece? And Sam says, would you message me a ballpark of how much it would cost to commission another one? As for cost, I've spent close to $1,000, which is another reason why I'm not building more of her right now. But as soon as I can actually afford it, I want to build a full-scale version. That's my make it big goal. I figure I could build a pretty darn good version for about 100000 but I'd also need the facility to house her, so that will get pricey too. As for tutorials, no. Since it's so expensive, difficult, and complicated to recreate, but you can download the 3D files and the eye animation code at the link in the description. She's not for sale. If you factor in the cost of materials and paid me a fair wage, it would cost thousands of dollars, many thousands of dollars. This is just a prototype for me to experiment with her design. VFNS asks, how do you get that custom voice line so perfectly? And Dr. Chaos asked, did you use 15.ai for the voice lines? Yes, I did. Devin asked, but as for functioning as a personal assistant, would some of the answers such as what's the weather in my local area be generated with 15.ai? Unfortunately, 15.ai doesn't give you real-time responses, at least not for free, and it can take up to like 30 seconds. Also, the voice inflection is unique each time and doesn't sound great for every generation. I manually recorded a bunch of voice lines for this video months ago when the site was still online. Tails asked, I'm really impressed. This is absolutely outstanding. How do you have such commitment to your projects? The secret is to start dozens of projects and eventually you'll get one of them done. That and the sunk cost fallacy. Nathan asked, are you going to implement more advanced IA, I think he meant AI, to GLaDOS, like face recognition and tracking? Yes, I'll be adding a camera and more microphones actually. The shot from her POV is actually with an action camera. The camera will have to be mounted somewhere elsewhere because it's either have her eye glow yellow or be a camera but not both. Pickle Pickle asked, how do you control a motor like a servo? And how do you program movements? 
And where do you get components, like servos and motors and linear actuators? I'll link the stores I used for the major parts for the build. As for movement, I'm using this awesome servo driver board from Pololu called the Maestro. And why did I use this instead of a normal microcontroller? Well, Pololu has an awesome desktop application that makes it really easy to create animation sequences and move servos with various speeds and acceleration rates, which is a lot easier than doing it in code. I also plan to make a basic motion capture setup so I can puppet her a lot more easily, because right now I still have to drag sliders around. It's very tedious to animate. Mikhail asks, do you do inverse kinematics to move it to specific random angles, or are you just randomizing the positions of the axes? Like I said, I'm manually animating all of her joints. There's no kinematic model for her yet, since that would be a lot more work, but it would be cool. Minty Cat asks, what 3D printer do you use? I have a Prusa Mark III and a Craftbot XL. Mr. UK Man asked, can you make Zane or Echo Zane from Lego Ninjago? Nindroids are a bit outside of my skill set. Felonov Official asked, is the prison uniform intentional? Prison uniform? Just because a significant number of Aperture test subjects are here against our will doesn't mean we're prisoners. We prefer the term involuntary experimentees. Vile Destroyer X asked, Did you do all the Aperture logo animations and such yourself? Yep, and you can find all the code linked in the description below. Seth Bush asked, How do you get Alexa to apply with GLaDOS voice and make a custom line for GLaDOS to say? As I mentioned earlier, Alexa isn't modified in that way, just triggered by the Raspberry Pi that runs the unique keyword detection code. The audio is recorded from the speakers on the side of GLaDOS's head. Alexa still responds normally. I'm manually triggering her audio clips for now. I would have to write Alexa skills to really have GLaDOS respond to particular commands. TechDudes asked, which speech recognition did you use on the Raspberry Pi? I'm using the speech recognition module with uh, Google as a service doing the actual processing. And It's Fish Time asked, how hard is it to code? Not very, actually. There's very little software really running. The speech recognition code is basically the example application, and I'll link the tutorial that I used. There's actually more code running on her eye processor, which is a TNC 4.0. Uh, just because I like the idea of saying that her eye runs at 600 megahertz, uh, and her eye is actually a round LCD. Um, so once again, you can find that linked below. Smiley Scout asked, So, where's my cake? Be the cake you want to see in the world. Mr. Whatley asked, Okay, would Kit be even possible to make a Wheatley and how long would it take? And Vit asked, would you like to try to build a core? Yes, yes I would. Check back in a few months. Connor Parker asked, question, do you have any more projects this big in your mind? Oh, I think I do. Olivia Arts asked, can this GLaDOS sing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.